What's up, Headless Horde? Fright Night tickets. Those went up today. And how did you do? Hello there. I am the king. The Ricardis. <laughs> What's up? We got them. I got them. I got extremely lucky. I'm going to tell you how I got them. Be sure to stay to the end of the video. I have actually two unboxings I'm going to do. But first, let's talk about those Fright Night tickets. Now, if you're not following this trackers on Twitter or Instagram, you are losing out. So he posted a link earlier in the day. Uh, it was about 30 minutes or so before that. Funko Finders had it too, and there were a couple different links. So here's what I did. I opened up the first link in my Twitter browser. So once I opened up in Twitter, it's in that browser. Then what I did is I took the other link and I copy and pasted it over to my Chrome browser on my phone. And then I did another link. Um, I can't even remember which one it was. It was the first or second. And I took that over to my laptop and I put that in my browser there. Now I've heard that some people will putting them in multiple browsers on the same device. So I did have it in Twitter. And again, I'm not even sure how that works with when you open a link in Twitter, it stays on Twitter, but I'm not even sure what browser they're using. I don't know if it's internet Explorer or wherever the default would be for an Apple phone, but I ended up having only the two browsers open one on my phone, one on my computer. So once it went live, you know, they generate the random order. Both of mine came out to be over an hour wait and I was not happy. So after waiting about three or four minutes, knowing that the tickets were probably going to be gone, I decided to go back to Twitter and click the link I had clicked. And voila, it literally said, we're transferring you to the site. I was able to buy them that way. I don't know if it's just luck. Um, I don't know if it was just how I happened to click the one and I got in, but man, oh man, I'm excited. I'm going to have some sweet footage for you guys. Um, you know, I hope you were able to get them. Um, so I'll be going to Fright Night uh, here in a couple weeks. So um, let me know in the comments below if you were able to get them. And if you did, was it luck? Did you do something different? Um, I don't know. It's just everyone is saying something different and it's just odd. But I feel very, very fortunate to have gotten them. I've missed out on fun days several, several times. I, I've yet to even win a lottery um, through SDCC or NYCC. Uh, like I said, the, in previous videos, I've talked about how I, I'm on the Funko message board and I was able to get the Funko shop experience at San Diego Comic Con this past summer. But again, that wasn't even through the message board. That wasn't even through one of these lotteries. So next Monday at 12 p.m., we have the NYCC reservation system. This is going to be for your exclusives. This is going to be for any exclusive autographs that don't cost money. And this will be for uh, the panels in the two main stages. So make sure you're on there if you're going to NYCC. Because if you don't do that, you probably won't be able to do all three of those things. Let me go through the unboxing here. So I got two boxes. Now the one is from Funko. And this is the... Uh, this is my diecast Thor. Now I've seen both of them online and I'll be honest with you. I'm hoping to not get the chase. I don't really like the chases. Um, I actually grabbed the chase Boba Fett and I ended up just selling it because I didn't really care for it that much. So I really don't want the chase. So we'll see what I get. So let's open this up. As far as the die cast go overall, this may be my last one. I don't know if I want any more after this. So there's the box. Um, you know, enough's enough, honestly. It's it's kind of the same characters. They're just die cast figures. Comes packaged really nice. And ah, still got stuff in it, so. Let's do it this way. And we still have to unpackage. 
Boy, they really got this one nice and tight. And guess what I got? I got the chase. <laughs> of course I did. So, I got the chase. Um, there it is. You know, it's not bad. I mean, I don't know. I just like the colors, I guess. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I may keep it for a while, and then eventually I can just get another one. Um, but, there's the Thor chase. There's the little chase symbol. You can't really see that. It's blocking. Let's see if I can get a better view. There we go. So, there's your chase. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you like this one? Do you like the regular versions better? Um, it's something different, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see what I want to decide to do with that thing. But there's my Thor. And then with the lid on. Now, the one thing I'm going to say about these die casts is that these do not stay on at all. It, I don't know why they didn't make it where it locked into place. It's really super annoying. Uh, a lot of these I actually have in um, uh, armor shield, so they don't fall. So there it is. So it's all right. I think I, I think I'd rather prefer I prefer the other one. I think, but all right. Anyways, let's do the other unboxing. Now this unboxing is from a buddy, and he's picked up quite a few things for me here. A lot of this is actually going to get signed uh, this weekend at Cincinnati. Um, or it's going to be signed in NYCC. And you can always tell when a collector sends you pops because, man, oh, man, this is like Fort Knox over here. All right. Finally got it open. Let's take a look at what I got sent. So this is going to be signed at uh, Cincinnati. We have OG Judge Doom. So I'm going to get this autograph from Christopher Lloyd. And right now I'm debating on. So let me know in the comments, which one would you go with? Red or yellow? I feel like green would be an option, but that may just be so much green because the box is green. So let me know in the comments below what color you think I should go for that. Now these are going to be signed at New York Comic Con. We have four different Poe Dameron's here. So we have the FYE exclusive. And that's without his helmet and the flight suit. So this one looks like it might be from The Last Jedi. Because this one I can know is the OG from Force Awakens. And then this was this is the OG from the Force Awakens, but this is with this is the common with his head uh, helmet on. So there's that one. And then we have Poe from Rise of Skywalker. So I'm going to be getting all four of these signed. A couple for me, a couple for him. Next up, we have Sting. He'll be making an appearance at NYCC. All right, next up, we have a couple cartoons. So we have Blue from Blue's Clues. Uh, so Steve will be there. So we're going to get that autographed. And next, we have... SpongeBob. So we're gonna get those autographed. So I was able to grab my buddy um, a couple uh, chrysanthemums from SDCC. So I shipped them both to him, and he went out and got it autographed by Kerry Jones. So I appreciate that hookup. That's looking pretty sweet. And we have one final one in here. And we have... We have the Biker Scout. So, Dickie Beer, who plays um, a Biker Scout. He plays uh, some parts of Boba Fett for stunts. So, he's basically a stunt actor. So, I will be meeting him at uh, Cincinnati Comic Con. So, I'm going to have him autograph my Biker Scout. And I believe that he is the Biker Scout that Luke kicks off the, the bike. So that's the one he played. So I thought that would be kind of cool to uh, to get him audit autograph. I'm going to see if I can find the line, too. I'm not sure if he has any lines in Return of the Jedi, but I'm going to take a look and see if I can find something, too. Um, but, yeah, that's it for today. So, again, let me know in the comments. Were you able to get Fright Night tickets? Uh, what color paint pen goes on Judge Doom? And anything else you guys are wondering. 
I appreciate you watching the video today. Don't forget, keep those heads on and have yourself a great day.